Hello, in this demonstration, I'm going to show you how to sync your WooCommerce orders with your Clover point of sale. Causes eSync connects your shops, restaurants, bars, retail stores to accounting, point of sale, ERP, CRM marketplaces. It's easy with eSync. And start your free trial today. After you've started your free trial, you will notice a message you have not created any actions yet. Actions let you choose what type of data you may want to sync between Clover and your WooCommerce store. That includes creating products, inventory sync, and orders. Let's start by creating an action. And in this demonstration, we've already connected our WooCommerce store. Click continue, click Clover, click continue, and you'll see a list of actions. Your actions include orders, customers, send standard items, send inventory levels for standard, and find matching orders in WooCommerce to update your order status. And you'll need to add these actions in the sequence we suggest. In order to sync orders with Clover, you'll need to configure three actions. Create customer action first. You cannot create an order in your Clover point of sale without a customer. Next, send orders. And third, update the status from the order. The order status will identify specific orders eSync will download and will ignore those orders for future download once the status has changed to prevent duplicate orders in your point of sale. So let's add these actions one at a time. First, send customers. Continue. You can give a unique name or hit save. Let's add the other two actions. Clover. WooCommerce. Continue. Now orders. Send orders. As our second action. And our final action, status change. Find matching orders in WooCommerce and update the order status. And hit save. Now you'll see your list of actions. The first action, send customers, then process the order, then change status. You will now need to configure your actions. Click configure. Click the question marks if you're not sure what to do in these fields. We're going to target a successful order that has just been processed with payment for WooCommerce, and that's in processing. Click save. And back to dashboard. Now, our next action is orders. Click configure. Download and processing. And choose your employee ID. Examples. See examples here. You need to create a shipping item in your point of sale with SKU called shipping. Next, tax. and a tender ID. Read your instructions here to identify your tender ID and enter my account with your account details. Our tender ID is here and hit save. Go back to dashboard, click actions, configure, now choose a date that you want to target for orders that have already downloaded in your point of sale. I'm just going to go back 24 hours. We have no orders in our point of sale just yet, and we're going to change the status. After it's been confirmed, downloaded in your point of sale, you want to change the status to something else. For example, on hold. Now hit save. Always go back and verify that your settings have been saved. Click configure. The green checkbox says your settings have saved. Click configure. Saved. Find matching orders. And the date did not save. Click save. Now if you go back, you'll verify your settings have been saved. So now create a task and add each of the three actions. First, send the customer, then process the order into the Clover point of sale, then confirm the order exists in the point of sale and update the status at WooCommerce to on hold. And give a name to your task. Your tasks are used to process your orders. You can also turn your schedule on and run by the minute or the hour interval. 
for now, I'm going to run on demand. But first, let's see if we have any orders to process in WooCommerce. In WooCommerce, we have one order in processing status. So now let's go back to eSync and run our task on demand. You can also view your activity logs here. If you run into any problems, please post a support ticket. If you need assistance, click help and just post a support ticket. And add your activity log when you post your support ticket. Now let's log into Clover and view our order. Main warehouse. And orders. Toggle down and you'll see the order that has been processed for 19, 28, and 38. If we match it to the order online for 19, 28, 38, you'll also see that the status changed to on hold. Adidas Smart Soccer Ball. And your order details listed here. That's it. If you have any questions, please contact us at cosmoscentral.com with a K and start your free trial today. Thank you.